and welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked. Last time, Keisuke went AWOL on us as he was displeased to find out the reason Midori was going to die is apparently she's going to be killed by her fellow humans, so he was less than thrilled with that revelation and he seems like he's going to do something drastic. Hopefully it doesn't come to that point. As you can see, we've got the event where uh, Midori will purportedly die if we don't intervene, so we better take care of that first things first. Now, before we get to that, I do just want to remark on a single lineup change I made uh, between this video and the last. Uh, also a good opportunity to just get my uh, team set up real quick. Uh, I fused a Hanuman. This guy I fused by uh, taking the Genma Heimdall and fusing it with a Nekomata that I pulled out of the compendium to get some good stat inheritance on it, turned into a Loa, turned around and fused that Loa into the Orcus that I made to get this guy a decent amount of strength on him. So he's doing uh, pretty good here. Uh, also want to get uh, Afnak back onto my main team here. Uh, want a good strong one, so we'll get that uh, up here and uh, just uh, messing around. I I'll finish up uh, this when we actually start the battle, but that's the one lineup change that I wanted to remark on. Also, in the process of getting the money to pull the Nekomata out of the compendium, I got a single level up. Shouldn't affect things too much. Uh, this battle coming up is more of a gimmick battle than anything else, so let's get into it. You've caused us too much grief. You won't be getting away this time. No, no! You little witch. This is all your fault. <laughs> You're not getting away. After her! Hey, wasn't that... We've got to move. Come on! Now you're trapped, witch! I'm not a witch! I just wanted to help! Liar! My friend was killed by demons! The same demons you summon and allow to roam our streets! Admit it, witch! No, no! You've got it all wrong! You treated us like insects. Now you're gonna pay for it. Say your prayers! There she is! We got here just in time! Hurry, though! They're about to attack her! Alright, so we better focus on chasing these people away. Uh, I have a feeling Midori is kind of like a deer in headlights right now. Hang in there, Midori! We'll save you! Alright, so we've got a battle with a bit of a unique objective here. We have to chase away the enemies. To do so, we have to damage them, but we cannot actually kill them. If you kill any of the people here, even just some of the flanking people who theoretically aren't there, uh, that will result in an immediate game over. So do not, and I repeat, do not do that. Uh, but luckily, they will flee so long as we have one person come in and just do a little bit of damage to them, which uh, I'm going to have Atsura do that. Now, you may be thinking, this looks a little too simple, and you'd be correct to think that. Uh, there is a trick to this uh, fight that we're going to have to uh, deal with, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Let me get my team set up the way I want it, and then uh, we will begin the battle. Alright, mostly just made some quick lineup changes there, and a couple skill changes for uh, Yuzu. Uh, particularly, I gave her Maragi to go along with Fire Boost, and I didn't really need anything else on her, so I just gave her Mana Surge. Uh, you want to have uh, whoever you're going to, well, for what I'm about to do, I have my main character set up with it, but uh, whoever you have in this position, you want them set up with... Uh, a Wilder and a Genma for a very particular reason. Main character is the ideal character for this just because uh, he is the uh, fastest in terms of the turn order. Uh, Atsuro, I just want him to have a Wilder and he's going to run up and hit this lady with a Modan which will weaken everybody in the formation but not come anywhere close to killing them and cause these guys to start to flee. That's how we're going to do this. Uh, let's uh, get the battle underway. Here we get a warning that if someone without a comp sustains too much damage, they will die. Be cautious. So yeah. We can't go all out on these guys. They're just normal people. Yeah, we can't let the demon tamer's reputation get worse. We have to be careful. Seems reasonable. Man, imagine if we actually went around killing people. That, that would be a terrifying thought terrifying. Anyways, I'm going to have myself just rush through here. The Genma will help me get through the garbage and not have to worry about spending a lot of time until my next turn rolls around, and that is where I want to be. I'm going to have Yuzu move right here specifically, and now we're going to have Atsuro get a Devil Speed going. He's going to run up and attack the lady. Like I said, we're just going to have our demons guard, and then uh, Atsuro will do a mow down. Who are you kids? Uh, are you friends with this witch? Get in our way and you'll get the same treatment. 
Uh, lady, you don't seem to really realize who you're dealing with. Here, let me, uh, make the situation clear to you here. But yeah, be, uh, mindful of what attack you use here. Modown is perfect for this, because it's a nice, weak little bit of damage to hit every enemy. But boy, is actually hitting harder than I'm expecting there. That did a lot more than I thought it would. But, uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, uh, you don't have to worry too, too much about these people taking a ton of damage, uh, as long as they're still alive, for reasons that'll become apparent later. Ah, they're demon users too! Run for your lives! Ah, we, we need to get out of here! And at this point, they will begin to flee, and Midori is saved, so that was an easy battle. Ah, glad I- wait, what? I found you. Is that Keisuke? People like you are trash. You get your lives saved and then turn on your savior. If there is no order or law within this lockdown, I will be the judge of your sins. Thy voice resonates with fury. Dost thou wish to serve justice with retribution? That voice! It's just like what happened with Kaido. Answer me, human. Dost thou desire justice? Yes. I do want it. I want justice. Then the contract is sealed. Thou have but to say my name. Yama. I am true justice. The raging sword. The righteous blade shall pass judgment on evil. Yama? I know you. The king of the underworld, also known as Enma. <laughs> Excellent. There is no demon better suited to judge evildoers. Another demon tamer? This isn't good. Now, Yama, pass judgment in the name of justice. Show them the weight of their sins. My justice shall be wrought in thy place. Ah, help me! It's too late to plead for your life. Regret your actions for all eternity in hell. Keisuke, stop! What the hell are you doing? Maybe it was good fortune that I was caught in this lockdown. Some people in this world harm society just by existing. They have no right to live. Since order and law are gone, I will be the bastion of justice with Yama's power. Do you realize what you're saying, Keisuke? You can't do that! Don't you get it? I've always felt, even before the lockdown, that this society has long since been broken. Power is necessary to uphold justice, or order will continue to crumble. That's the proper use for power, isn't it? Why? Why can't you understand? We, we can't go over there! He'll kill us! We have to go the other way! Keisuke, why are you taking it this far? What the hell, Keisuke? What happened to you? Please, everyone, please don't let Keisuke become a murderer! I know, using power to judge people won't change anything. You didn't think the mission was going to be that easy, did you? Now we have a new objective. We have to defeat Keisuke and make sure the citizens escape. Keisuke and Yama will be gunning for the citizens, so uh, as long as we focus on uh, taking them down... I won't let you go. Your sins shall be judged right here. Ah, ah, there are demons here too! Save me! What's wrong? You wanted to kill demon tamers, yes? Go ahead. I'm right here. Uh, another complication. Now we've got demons to defeat. Fortunately, Yuzu just so happens to be in the right position to stop them, and even if she fails, she has uh, Quetzalcoatl to uh, stop them. Now, uh, we're just going to devil speed up and rush Keisuke. If you take too long to take him out, as you can see, Yama is in the turn order, and he's a pretty serious demon. If he happens to get out and attack anybody, he will just immediately blow them up with Maragi, and he has Beast Eye to guarantee that he'll get two actions in a turn. This is a unique demon skill, and the first time we're seeing it, uh, several demons in the game will have eye skills that allow them to take multiple actions. Fortunately, Keisuke himself is uh, much closer to orbit. 
He does have uh, Baize, who is a bit of a tank, but uh, I have four stance on myself, so that should allow me to deal pretty decent damage to him. And my physical demon should uh, be able to tear through him, no problem. So, Keisuke, uh, time to show you what for. Why are you doing this? You, you Honestly, yeah, you've gone too far, Keisuke. People are always like this. They ask for help when they're in need, but soon they forget and become the persecutors. People like that are scum. Their existence is a sin, and they deserve to be judged. They will never, ever, ever change their ways. If no one is there to judge them, they will just repeat their crimes. Don't interfere. If you do, I will have to defeat you as well. Well, that sounds like a challenge to me. Fortunately, we have just what we need to take this guy down. Do be mindful that he has hustle, so he is going to be able to dodge some physical attacks thrown his way, but I feel confident that we should be able to take these demons out. Whoops, that was actually not the attack that I wanted to use. I intended to use Berserk. Sorry, I I've mentioned in other videos that sometimes I get a little exhausted and my eyes like, goes a little cross. Not that it really mattered there. We took Keisuke out in the first turn, so that's one problem addressed. Keisuke, are you finished now? Come to your senses, man. I wanted you of all people to understand. Next time, I won't hold back. Yeah, as you can probably imagine, this is a mission that really depends on you not knowing what's coming for its difficulty. I do know it. I did know what's coming, so uh, it was pretty easy to deal with. Anyways, I've got uh, Yuzu uh, all set to just tear through these guys. Uh, with uh, Quetzalcoatl and Maragi and Nalagiri throwing out Berserks, uh, this should all go according to, or go like clockwork. Yeah, those Vidofners uh, barely stood a chance, even though they're not specifically weak to uh, what we throw out. And Loa just needs a quick love tap to finish him off there. Of course, we've got two Loas. That's why Nalagiri is in the party here. Uh, one thing to note about Nalagiri is that he is the last Kishin demon that we get for a very, very long time. The next Kishin demon available isn't available until day six, and only if you do a specific fight that is optional. So, uh, gonna be a while before we see anything that allows us to use double up beyond the sky, but we will see get a couple of uses uh, from Nalagiri specifically before that uh, new demon comes up. As you can see, uh, Loa's uh, somewhat uncharacteristically for uh, jockey-type demons. They actually have uh, remarkably strong magic, uh, so they are pretty resistant to your fire attacks, even though they're weak to it. I'm not overly concerned about that, though. Uh, just do the final Maragi here. Even if we fail to kill it, like Nalagiri missed here, that's why I have uh, Quetzalcoatl on me. Uh, his Constrict will just stop them from moving and attacking the civilians. And we took care of that fight about as perfectly as we possibly could have. I uh, can't imagine a more ideal way that could have gone. You witch! I'll kill you someday! We'll get you sooner or later, demon users! I... I knew it! She is a witch! She... she has to die! Keisuke... Those people were wrong to attack Midori, but to just kill them. He... he summoned a demon just like Kaido did. Yeah, he must have been really, really mad. Hey, about that demon, Yama. Keisuke said it was the same as Enma. Enma, the judge of the underworld. At least it doesn't seem to be evil. Man, is it really that easy for a human to summon a demon without a comp? All you need is a strong will and desire, and you can call a demon over? Gotta be joking! Um... Midori, I'm glad you're okay. Thanks for rescuing me. Now do you understand that not everyone will thank you if you try to do good deeds? If you've learned your lesson, you have to lay lower from now on, okay? No. What? Laying low means I'd be abandoning people who are in trouble. I... I can't do that. Ugh, that's not what I meant. I'm happy that you saved me, but I'm gonna keep dispensing justice my way! Hey, Midori! Jeez, we prevented the Laplace male's prediction, but she's gonna do it all over again. Hey, how many days did Midori's number say she had left to live? 
Well, we prevented her death here, but unfortunately, uh, not much seems to be getting through that thick skull of hers, so she's still at zero. Huh? How can that be? No way! What are we supposed to do, then? Let's follow Midori. As much as I would like to stop Keisuke, Midori is the more pressing issue. Keisuke, at least, still has a day to live. Right. Let's make sure Midori's safe, okay? Then we'll go find Keisuke. Thanks for thinking about Keisuke too, Yuzu. Still, I didn't think normal people would start hating demon tamers this badly. I never thought we'd have to fight people. Yeah, I'm not Keisuke, but I'm pretty depressed about it too. I didn't think people could be this stupid. It's a shock. Right. Even if Midori is attacked by civilians, she wouldn't fight back. But Keisuke didn't show any hesitation to attack those people. I wonder what others would do if they got attacked by the ones they rescued. Yeah, they... Ideally, they'd stop helping, but, uh, and just leave it at that, but I have a feeling they'd fight back. I thought as much. I don't know how long we can take this. What are we going to do if that happens? Yeah, the <clears throat> breakdown of society seems to be kicking in pretty fiercely at this point. Now, at this point, we got a handful of events that we can go through. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I believe the one we most definitely want to hit, and no, uh, Midori is not available at the moment. The one we most definitely want to hit is Atsuro. Let me just make a save state real quick, just in case anything is blocked off from us. Alright, now I know I said there, uh, in the previous video, it wasn't super critical to see all the Atsuro events going forward, but now that I think about it, there is one that we do want to see. I forget if it's this one or not, though. A container with food and clothing is in the street, surrounded by a throng. The stronger people are holding on to the goods, and fights are breaking out. The weak, the children, and the elderly will be unable to get any food soon. Ow! Woo! Well, we managed to grab some grub somehow. Thanks, guys. But this is awful. Stores are being looted, too. This is really getting serious. We'll be okay, but kids and old people... Yeah, maybe we should uh, share some of our stuff. I don't think this is too good an idea based on what we've just seen. Yeah, but we don't have a lot to go around. We have to lift the lockdown as soon as possible so we can put an end to this. Okay, so that's not the event that I thought it was. Uh, next up, we want to see the event with Jin. Shiba Park is full of people at the mercy of the Shomonkai, waiting for help from outside. The younger refugees seem to seem too relieved by the shelter to take the situation seriously. Those guys get on my nerves. Don't they know what's going on? Lazy asses. Can't they at least offer to help however they can? They're just sitting there laughing as they leech off other people. Jeez. But then that could have been us. Huh? I'm saying maybe we would have done the same thing. We went through a lot because we had our comps. But if we didn't... See what I mean? Yeah, you might be right. Oops, I have to take a leak. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take a walk. I can't stand to look at those guys anymore. As you wait for your friends to return, you spot Jin at the corner of the park. He is watching the youth with a cold gaze, but then notices you and walks over. Are you upset? <laughs> it's natural you should feel that way. Uh, yeah. Honestly, it is a little frustrating, given that all we've been going through, that uh, there are some people who are just lazing around and taking it easy. I'm not surprised. For folks who actually make an effort, their idiocy is an eyesore. They assume everything will work out. That everyone's in the same boat, so it'll be okay. They won't put in the work, but they want results. The world ain't that easy. But to be honest... I was no different until she snapped me out of it. Uh, who happens to be she, Jin? A lady friend? Her name was Aya. She was my lover. It's thanks to her I am who I am. She disappeared suddenly about six months ago. It was a cold, rainy day. <laughs> she called me to pick her up at the station. She forgot her umbrella. Well, I went, but she wasn't there. 
and I haven't seen her since. If she'd gotten sick of me, that's fine. But if she's in trouble, I want to save her. I don't think she would have gotten sick of you, Jin. You're such a cool dude. You got me worried too, man. I did a little investigating, and I heard from someone who saw Aya at the station. According to his story, Aya got in a car with someone from the Shomankai. The Shomankai? What, what could she possibly be doing with the Shomankai? There's no proof it was the Shomankai, but that's the only clue I have to go on. Yeah, I, I can uh, give you an assist here. <laughs> Sorry. I let it get to me again. But maybe this is fate. It'd really help me out if you pass on any info you find. Alright, uh, you know what? I may as well just cut out the BS and ask the Shoman Kai directly. I'm sure I could find somebody who knows. Yeah, you do that if you get the chance. I just know they're hiding something. I can tell because they seem to know about me and Aya. They act real skittish around me. My gut feeling tells me that the Shoman Kai needed her for a specific purpose. Tell me anything you learn that points to Aya, no matter how slight it seems. Huh? Was that Jin? What was he saying? Man, the line for the bathroom was unreal. Hmm? What are you guys standing around for? Let's go! Well, didn't even give us a chance to talk to Yuzu there. Uh, let's see, uh, looks like there's a couple of things uh, that popped up around here. First off, a new event involving Kaido, and another event involving, involving Atsuro. Uh, let me see, uh, we've got another event involving Jin, but you don't want to check this one right now because we have the option to ask about Aya at various places located around, uh, Tokyo, so first order of business is to check out these. Aya from the band Diva? Oh yeah, I've seen her before. She was with somebody wearing Shomunkai clothes. I think he was somebody important. Okay, so that kind of confirms uh, what Jin was telling us. Now let's go to, uh, what is that, Shinagawa to talk about... Uh, directly to some Shomankai. Why are you asking about Lady Aya? Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. Lady Aya? Weird. Uh, that kind of implies she has some sort of high-ranking connection with the Shomankai. And after that, at Rapungi, we get another uh, inquiry about Aya. Lady Aya is Master, Master Azuma's guest. No matter why you seek her, I have no reason to tell. Well, that's interesting. Perhaps if we grill this woman more directly about her connection to Azuma. Will you quit bugging us? If you want to see her so much, go talk to Master Azuma. He'll be at the hills in Rapongi at 1200 in two days. Ask him yourself. Tell that other guy who was asking about Aya too. Yes, we might be able to learn something about Aya now. Let's go tell Jin. Oh, well, that was weirdly specific. Also, uh, I just noticed that uh, Kaido just disappeared from the event list. Weird. I'll have to uh, back up the uh, timeline a little bit to see that, but that's exactly why I make the save states in this uh, Let's Play. So now let's tell Jin what we've learned. Hey, what's the matter? Did something happen? Yeah, this Ozma guy, you see. Cullen tells Jin he may be able to ask Ozma of the Shoman Kai about Aya. Azuma, eh? Yeah, supposedly he's going to be at the Hills Building at noon in two days. The Hills Building in two days at noon. Alright, thanks. Maybe this will give me a lead on Aya's whereabouts. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Thanks, guys. I think we just horribly screwed something up, because we just uh, sent Jin off to a potential death. But uh, if you want to get a specific ending of the game, and yes, Jin is tied to an ending route, this is a critical event you must get. Uh, this is actually the last Jin event you need to do for a while until the battle at the Rapongi Hills. <laughs> I'm already kind of getting ahead of myself here. The event at the Rapongi Hills, but uh, we'll uh, deal with that when we get to it. Now that we've burnt enough time on the clock, Midori is available to talk to, so let's catch up with her. As you approach Omotesan, though, you see a number of people looking around carefully. Keep searching! That little witch is hiding somewhere! We'll find her! But that girl rescued us! Don't be fooled, Miss O, oh, so young and pretty. She summoned demons, you saw her. There's no doubt that she summoned the demons and turned them loose in the city. She's not here. Let's move on to the next place. The mob continues searching as they leave the area. 
What was that about? Did something happen here? They were after someone. Could it be... Hey! Hey! Are they gone? Huh? That sounded like... Over here! Behind you! Oh, it's you, Midori! You and the others rush over to Midori. Midori, are you being hunted by people you helped again? Y yeah. Do you understand why everyone's scared of you? It's all a misunderstanding. I mean, I was doing the right thing. It's always right to help people, isn't it? If they don't realize it, then that's that. Look, you're going a little too far with this. What's that supposed to mean? I was always taught that if you have the ability to do what's right, you should. Yeah, saving people from being attacked by demons is a good thing. But don't you think you're ignoring what everyone else is thinking? What? I am not! No, you need to understand what they're seeing. Normal people can't tell the difference between normal demons and ones from comps. It's also a fact that there are those who abuse the comp's powers. People don't know if you're good or bad. They're afraid of all demon tamers they see. What do you imagine they'd think if you just strut in and start summoning demons all over? <sighs> yeah, come on, Midori. Think about how they'd feel. How other people feel? That's right. If you try to force them to see the world your way, it's not going to work. Uh, let's not let's not pry too deeply into that. He, he's not? Daddy's not wrong? If you want to tell people what's right, you gotta make sure they get the message. I think your dad wants you to understand that too. <laughs> um I still don't really get it, but uh um I'm sorry, but I I still want to be a real heroine. So, I'll stop showing off. Can I come with you and learn how it's really done? Well, oh, okay, probably uh, better for her sake. Uh, being with us would give her two more days than she otherwise does have right now. Thank you! I'll do my best! Midori joined the party. Phew, well, that's one of our objectives. What's next? Hmm, you know what? We, these two, these two are definitely things we have to get to, but Keisuke's the most pressing issue right now. We better take care of him. Thanks. It looked like Keisuke just lost himself in anger. I hope this doesn't get worse. Yeah. Shouldn't we be looking into that Belial demon too? I want to know more about this, too. What the government hopes to do with this lockdown, and what'll happen if it fails. If this lockdown never ends, what are we gonna do? Well, wh why don't we just stop the cause? Huh? We don't even know what the cause of all this is yet. Can we really stop it? I know you're worried, but we have to try. Otherwise, we'll regret it later. Yeah. Let's pull ourselves together and head on out. Yeah, let's go! And with that, we get our next party member to replace the absentee Keisuke, Midori. And Midori is pretty balanced in comparison to Keisuke. She has a more clear focus on magic. As you can see, she's only two points of mad behind Yuzu and has pretty even vitality and agility with low strength. So she's a pretty decent character on the whole, if I'm being completely truthful with you. And uh, I'm sure we'll be able to put her to good work. We are still at a point in the game where it is a little difficult to make sure everybody is uh, kitted out with uh, good skill sets. 
but I should be able to make something work. Uh, generally, it's a good idea to just uh, reshuffle your skill sets uh, whenever you get into a new fight. Just try and set things up so they are ideal for what you're going to get into. Alright, now, with all that said and done, uh, let me just think a little bit. I'm going to make another save state and just shop around events real quick to see what is a good event for us. I also want to back up so we can see that Kaido event that we missed since it was only briefly available, so hold on just a moment. Alright, so uh, I did uh, double check. Uh, the Atsuro event at Shibuya is the one that I was uh, thinking about earlier, but I also backed up the clock a little bit so we can watch the Kaido event, so let's take a look at this one. Yo, I heard you were helping look for Aya. Oh, hey, how'd you know? I've known Jin for a while. Our kind of punk tends to stick together, you know? Aya was a great girl. She and Jin were really tight, you know? I wonder where she got to. Hey, check this out. When Jin and Aya met, they knew right off the bat they were meant for each other. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, guess it's a bit of love at first sight. What? Seriously? How do you let someone know how you feel about them? How do you know how they feel? No matter how much I think it over, I just don't get it. I mean, all they did was meet and start talking. And that was that. It's a mystery, man. Well, that was not particularly informative. Uh, I have a feeling Kaido is going to go home and make a Reddit post real quick. But that's uh, that's that event. Now that uh, we've gotten that established, let's uh, rewind the clock, or perhaps uh, wind the clock forward a little bit, and let's see what Atsuro has to say. Hey, I've been thinking, where do you think Naoya designed and built the server? Oh, well... More than likely, he did so at the Shomenkai building. I doubt he had the uh, facilities available as apartment to do it. I think so, too. The Shomenkai hired an outsider to build this important system. I doubt they'd let him work without keeping an eye on him. Now you must have designed the program in a Shomenkai facility. You want to go look for it, Atsuro? I'm thinking about it. Amane's challenging us, and I really want to find it now. If now you designed the system, he most likely had direct access to it. If we searched where he was working, I thought there might be some clues there. Yeah, we should probably hurry since uh, Ozma said he was going to throw all of uh, now you stuff out. Well, of course we should look soon, but what's the rush? Uh, Atsuro. Crap, that's right. That guy said they were going to clear out now you's room. We got to get there soon. But what are we going to tell them? We can't just walk up and ask to see Naoya's room. Hey, come on, I'm his cousin. They gotta at least uh, give me a little bit of what he's ha he left behind, right? Huh? Hey, that's right! Okay, let's go try that. If a blood relative asked for Naoya's personal belongings, we might have a chance. Oh man, I'm so glad you're with us. Alright, but what could we possibly hope to find? Maybe some source code, maybe even a memo. We need all the help we can get. Uh, what did Azuma say? They were going to clean out Naoya's room tomorrow? Let's go back to the Shomunkai facility before then, so we can snag Naoya's stuff. And that, uh, sets the trigger for the Shomunkai event with, uh, collecting Naoya's stuff later. Uh, but it is not available right now for some odd reason. So, uh, like I said, uh, that event with Jin, where we, uh, inadvertently reduced his death clock, that's the last event that we need to see with him for a little while, so we can actually ignore that event in the main timeline. Let's catch up with Honda again. I think, uh, yes, Hello, this is the radio event, so, uh, we can, uh, get this, uh, set out of the way. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, come on, Atsuro, tell him. You had a radio, didn't you? To use after the cell phone services all went down? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there is very minor variations in the dialogue you, you can get sometimes, uh, but other times, you've probably noticed at this point in the game, characters will just react the same way to your dialogue every time, regardless of what you say. With that said and done, uh, the event with, uh, Azuma, who is 
conspicuously making an early appearance that's not at Rapongi Hills. Hey, we should get Jin real quick to talk to him. Unfortunately, no, you cannot do that, but now we can collect Naoya's belongings from Azuma. Additionally, we have a battle at Kanagi Cho we can do, but we'll save that for the next video. Plus, you know, events with Haru, events with Jin, but we'll check out all this stuff in the next video, so that's where we'll leave it for now. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, though, goodbye.